Now that we collected $2,000, uh, we can get to Paris. Bas Once again, I won't bother with the the lore of the game. Watch the cutscenes and you'll figure it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, we want to go here. This is where we'll use the uh, Daffy Boots thing for climbing for the first time. We want to swap to Daffy. Depending on how you feel, you might want to collect this 50 uh, before you roll over here. So what you want to do is you want to stand in front of a wall that has a hitbox collision. Then you want to jump and press the uh, the uh, attack button at the same time. Basically, you want to press the attack button at the peak of your jump. Uh, this is how I do it. I slide from, I don't know if you can see this, but I slide from A to B. And I can't really do it reverse, oh I can. Uh, like that. And then you want to do it one, two, <laughs> one, two, three. And then you want to jump the fourth time. Uh, if you try to do it four times, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Then you'll hit air, which does not have a collision, and you won't get the glitch, which is basically that the game thinks that you're on ground, which is where you can do another one. You want to collect this, and you want to roll down. You want to roll down, because if you don't, then uh, you'll uh, fall flat and take uh, falling damage. Hit this, and get over to Pepe. Press start two times in order to skip this cutscene. Now, this I failed with in my uh, world record, I think. You want to roll, and then you want to daffy boost. That'll get you up here. Then you want to do one, two, three. This only works... I can't believe I got that. This only works because when... You see, if I go down here, and I try to do it... Uh, come on, get out of here, you, you silly guard. Come on, get out of here, man. Okay. Come on, get out of here. Okay, I'll let him catch me and then I'll do this. Okay. Because if you try to do it now, it won't work. The reason why it worked was because uh, Sylvester and Tweety Bird uh, was a hitbox when Sylvester. So Sylvester catches Tweety, that'll, that makes them both into a hitbox that you can hit with that. You can delay your, uh, what I did there, you can delay your Daffy Boosts in order to get... So you basically do a Daffy Boost, you fall down a little bit, do a Daffy Boost, fall down a little bit. It's more difficult though, and I wouldn't recommend it. So here you want to uh, Daffy Boost up here and jump. You can either do that like... Like this, or you can do it onto the wall. Then you'll do two and get over here. I recommend the wall. Collect that and the money. Collect these. Collect this and get over here. You wanna like position yourself like this, maybe, but you wanna do it quickly, it doesn't really matter. You wanna. Why is this not working? There we go, Some something like that. Then you want to swap to you boats. To uh, if you roll here, sometimes that'll make your character act like you hit a... Uh, it might only be Daffy, now that I think about it. But just to be sure that your character doesn't fall flat, I go up here and roll there. So this guy stole a bunch of paintings, and now he's invisible. What are you gonna do? There we go. Uh, then what you want to do, because we got the spy costume, we want to uh, reveal him. Oh, sorry. 
what, what we're doing is we are standing next to this here, uh, this square. So basically, so that Bugs' heels connect to the uh, the corner of this brown square. Square. Then we press the spy button, which will reveal shock, and it will make him move. Uh, this is the shock block. <laughs> I love the shock block. Uh, then we just hit him seven times. If you don't do this, he'll run around and it'll be very difficult to catch him and stuff like that. It'll take ages. You don't want to do that. Pick these up and he'll run away. Before you swap back, you want to collect this gold in the fountain. Swap back to Daffy and roll down. Because remember, you can't take hitbox, you can't take uh, falling damage when rolling. Talk to Pepe, skip some of that. Remember shaking any trees. And get this monkey. Daffy one, monkey zero. Yes. Uh, then you want to go from here to you want to get up there, which can be done in several ways. But basically, you want to roll out here. Uh, for some reason, Elmer Fudd is hunting in the loo. We don't know why. We don't really care. He's just he's doing Elmer Fudd things. You want to go here. You can spend the time turning the camera around if you want to. But if you uh, don't want to, you don't need to. You want to do one, two, three. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the camera around. You want to do one, two, three, and a jump get Sylvester and Tweety. You want to jump up here and then roll off the ledge just to make sure that you don't get that flat falling damage. Roll in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss the black shock bashing. No, I didn't. But you know the rules so you know when it's at. And you can also check the world record in case you feel like you want to know when the split is. But I think it's up here actually. So you want to collect these three and head out here. Here you gotta be uh, careful not to hit certain, like, cause anything will. Oh, I got that. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Cause any ledge here will just knock you down. You're coming up here. You're thinking, oh, I'm safe. Nope. There's just ledges everywhere. So you want to go from here, jump up here, collect that, get over here, roll, do a Daffy boost up this wall, up this wall, and up this wall. And that's the fastest way of getting here. This is the timing for black truck bashing. What time is it? This might be a long video. I might cut this into chunks. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'll do this yet. So now what we want to do is we want to force him to shoot these signs. They'll always be in the same place. We want him to shoot that one and this one. You can either stand behind the sign or you can dodge in front of it or just move out of the way. Then pick up his gun and shoot him. Then the signs will spawn here. You want to stand in front of this one. You can lower him over by doing something like that. No one else hunts at the and this Just sign. Oh yeah, sorry. You want to go this way because he's really slow and get over here. Uh, now I fucked that up. Let, let me just redo that. So we were here. He went over here. This is the first cycle. He'll get this sign. This is good. We want to shoot him this way because we want him to get closer to these to reduce time. Dodging. So yeah, since he's so slow, we might as well go uh, on the back way there and get the bird seed. He shoots this. He might attempt to run up the stairs here. You do not want him to do that. So you want to get him away from there. Because if you shoot him while he's on the stairs, that's just bad news for everyone. 
mind. That's no good. The game warden, please tell me what season it really is. This is can be difficult because this guy will do that. So you might want to hit him, you might want to fence him away, you might want to dodge him, whatever works for you. And the same for this guy. Collect that. Get over here. Shoot him. And collect that. Now it's bugs time. Bugs turn. You can roll up these, the same as in the first level. Get in this door. Oh, I missed it. So, there's a platform here. You want to do the uh, spy costume look. And then you might catch this platform perfectly sometimes, which is very nice. Jump over here. Money. Oh, that was close. So what's important here is you do not want to uh, get the monkey first. Because what happens is, as soon as you collect the monkey, the costume goes away. Which means that you won't be able to get onto those platforms anymore. Like this. So that's where we grab the money. Then we want to head for that big uh, head over there. Want to roll off and maybe... Okay. Roll off and maybe jump or something, just in order to not get the fall damage. Hit these guys. Bam. Settling is... Did you miss your granny, darling? Oh, thank you. And since you're returning lost animals, could you find this monkey's owner? I'm sure he's got an organ grinder somewhere. Surely you've got more than that stashed away. Uh, now you want to get up here and roll off. Falling damage and all that. Going this way, you might as well... When you're rolling this way, you might as well jump up here and get these three coins. Why not? <laughs> Easy money. Dig here. Pick these up. Not bad. I missed one. There we go. Look, celebrities. Collect those. Go through here. And that's the timer for duck. Uh, rabbit duck. Now it's Shim Chase 2. This is a bit tricky because you can move. What you you, there's a cutscene, you, you can move, and there's another cutscene. So just be uh, ready on that start button and press it when you're supposed to, and not anytime else. Here, you want to be standing in the middle of. Uh, Let's just make this work. There. So you want to be standing in the middle of these two, uh, like uh, these two frames or whatever, and you want to be standing in the middle of this square to block this monkey. If you miss it, you can always go over here and stand here. It takes a while for the monkey to get here, and if you miss it, you can always go here and you can get him here. And that'll be the timing for Shimp Chase. Now comes the very random part of the run. Uh, Buckaroo Bully. We're about... I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you want to get up here. You want to break these two vases because you go in this way with bugs later on. Oh no, am I thinking? No, I'm mixing it up. Never mind. Uh, there are rolled on a ledge. Never roll on ledges. The reason why this is so random is because this uh, bull 
that I call Randy can do basically whatever he wants. Uh, he can do that. You jump on him to get control of him, and then it's like a bull ride. You wanna hit the statues? I think this might be uh, like just me imagining, but I think that if you do less inputs, that makes it less likely for him to do stuff. One important thing to know about this is uh, if he goes one way, in order to... Like, let's say he stops and jumps to the right. Like that, exactly, perfect. Then you want to go his direction, the direction he's going, which is right, and then when he starts moving again, you want to go left. This will cause him to go roughly straight. Uh, like this, okay. I'll show you next time when he doesn't do that. So that keeps him roughly on the straight, uh, on a straight path from there. And then we get this one. That one only had two, like uh, trying to throw us off can have anywhere from 0 to, I don't know, 10. Collect this monkey. Remember to get this in the fountain. Collect this, get in here. That's the timing for uh, Buckaroo Bully. Now let's see if I remember these numbers correctly. Here, we want to go uh, over here. When we are done with this, uh, we want to have $3,000 in order to get the cab fare to... Oh, I need to put my legs down. Get the cab fare to... Uh, the casino. Don't want to be in the red ones. <coughs> oh. Why are there so many Elmer Fuds? I don't know. Why not? Seems like a reasonable thing for there to be. Uh, the angle at which these bombs go is determined by your um, uh, how which direction you hold your stick. Ooh, if I was really professional, I had like I would have like one camera pointing towards my controller at all times. But eh. basically never want to miss a bomb. Uh, you should almost never have to miss a bomb apart from like there. And you don't want to get hit either, obviously. Oh, come on, <laughs> come on, man. I thought I had him. Yeah. So, now you want to get 3,000. You want to have a total of 3,000. And we don't have a total of 3,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to abuse that OP money spawn that we saw earlier. First by collecting these. Spell you for a while, Dad. It's Bayum. It's Bayum. 
Then collecting these. Liberté, égalité, sécurité. Look, celebrity. Hey, a nickel. You know, I'm a lot better at this. This will give us. I think exactly the right amount. No, it's yeah. Okay, that was fun. Uh, Ooh, that was cool. So I think, since I ran into the wall and got knocked down at the same time as the popper would come, maybe it didn't show up. I don't know. Usually you have a little bit more than this. I don't know why I have exactly this amount, but basically you want to get three thousand and you want to get this monkey. Then return to his tile screen. That's Kabooner, Kabooner, Kaboomer tennis for you. One more Fast and Furious. Let me check some still recording, because that'd be awful if I wasn't. That uh, seems like I'm recording. And hopefully the uh, the glitching problems I had in the world record video aren't showing up now since I swapped to the uh, correct graphics card. If I do something dangerous, I'm gonna text while driving. That's never a good idea, is it? Nope, because I hit a car. Okay, never mind. I'll look at that later. But yeah, this is not very, very uh, like, there's no massive insight to this. I don't think there's any way of speeding it up. Uh, maybe... No, I don't think there's any way. Uh, why we're using these monkeys in particular is because they're the fastest uh, that we can think of. Which is maybe not true nowadays. Oh shit, okay, I'll make a safe state just because. Yeah, you see, uh, it's, it's not that difficult, but if you fail, you fail, you know what I mean? Um, and that'll be your next split. 